football team in their effort, in their competitive spirit, competitive nature they've had, um, you know, these past couple weeks, um, we, we all know, again, not going back and wanting to be a downer, we've had some ups and some downs, but, but most people do, uh, just about everybody in the country, with the exception of maybe one or two teams. So you're going to have some adversity, and um, just our team responded how I believe they would, and uh, this game is important. I've, I've recognized that from the moment I walked in the door. Uh, when we had a long way to go, and they were a consistent uh, top ten team or top five at the time or whatever it was with Charlie had them rolling. So um, I know it's important to this state. It's important to our football players and our staff, and and I just really appreciate the way um, they dug in and competed and finished the season. Um, it's challenging, and uh, it's, it, you know our team responded the way. I had hoped. Um, felt like we did some really good things in the first half. Penalties uh, were one thing that kind of crept up, crept up on us a little bit, and uh, you know we had a few penalties that stalled some things. But overall, a really solid defense. I think giving up the touchdown at the end of the first half was a big response to go into halftime and come out in the second half and hold them to a three and out and get good field position. Kind of set the tone for the third quarter and put us in, in pretty good position to uh, feel like you had pretty good control. I know nothing uh, was completely out of hand or anything, but we felt like we were in pretty good control at that moment. And uh, defensively, we had some big stops. And offensively, it was very effective. Uh, moving the ball was good to see us uh, have that physicality in the run game, uh, late in the game, um, getting the long drive, even though it didn't end up with any points, but from a backed up position, physical, running the ball, killing some clock, and then putting it and, uh, and knocking them out at the one. Uh, the field goal about that, it was great to see Ralph finish that way and, and, the, and the holders, the snappers, and uh, the whole crew, uh, special teams, really responded. And so it was a total team effort and uh, uh, good to get that victory. Mark, do you feel like you guys finished as well, this game as, as well as you finished the first game this season? Uh, I, I can't, you know. My mind is a million places. Between, you know, be, I can't really even come. I can't even think about the first game of the season. To be honest with you right now, but I'll think about it later. Mark, both the Andre and Jacquez made big plays early. What's it say about those guys if they even came back today? I mean, anybody really would have faulted them. Yeah, it's who they are. Yeah. You know, it's who they are. <clears throat> yeah, you're right. You know, we couldn't fault them. The other guys were playing well, and uh, but it means something to them, and it, it means something to our team. So them being out there. And, Coaching the guys when they weren't able to play, and um, you know, coming back and fighting through it today uh, means a lot. It's just who they are. It's the character, and uh, you know that needs to carry on with the younger guys in our program. A lot of people wouldn't have blamed you if you just scrapped the kicking game of the last few weeks, um, but Matt came out there and performed well. Uh, were, did, were you ever worried that he might just be done for the year, kind of deal? No, but I, I think I acknowledge that things happen. I mean, I made the golfing analogy what, a week ago. You know what I mean? Like, I, I understand. I mean, things happen. I mean, uh, to act like you're not immune to anything or any pressure or any, you know, when things go wrong, I mean, that's human nature. But I had confidence in him. The team did. And uh, I treated him like we always did. You know, he missed a kick or two. You know, it's a snap. It's a hold. It's laces. There's a lot of things that go into it. So, as I mentioned, uh, you know, many times throughout the year, was I concerned? Yeah, I was concerned, and we worked on it. And and uh, but we had to stay the course and, and go with the best option we had. And he kicked it really solid tonight. Really good snaps, really good holds, and really good kicks from what, where I was. I don't, you guys probably see on the TV, but they look pretty, you know, pretty darn good, pretty high. You know. Mark, Mark, they came. Louisville came in leading all Power Five teams and forced turnovers. You didn't turn the ball over. How big was that? Yeah, I think it was very big. And really, really big, and, and uh, you know, I think uh, you know it says a lot to to our guys, and you know the way we finished there, and um, you know we had good balance, and um, certainly early, and uh, so turnovers were big. How does it feel to win the win this game five out of the last six years now? Mm. Better than losing. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, we've. Uh, 
know, there's been a lot of talk is that if this is Will Levis's last game in the Kentucky uniform, what does he meant to this program, and especially his toughness that he's showed this year fighting through injuries and yeah. change at OC, just all those things. Yeah, I don't know whether it is or not. We'll have some talks and see where he's at. But, uh, you know, he, he you know, it's hard, <coughs> hard to put into words what he's meant to us. You know, just his, again, his toughness, his leadership, um, you know, battling through adversity, you know, having a, you know, coming here and having a great year and having, going through an offense coordinator change and, and, you know, getting beat up and, you know, having a, a year where he wasn't at 100%, but he fought through it. Uh, he's a true professional. And, uh, you know, he set, set the tone for us here. Uh, we absolutely love him, whether it's his last game or he plays one more. Would not, I would never change my opinion of him. I, I thank the world of him and, uh, and love what he's done for us and, and don't want anything but the best for him in this future. Mark, you guys have been able to generate a lot of pressure this year, but haven't quite gotten home today. You were able to get home for sacks. Just how big was that, especially yeah, in the strip sack? I thought it was very big. I think, you know, the strip sack, the, the pressure making it uneasy on him early. Um, I think we um, got a sack when the second play when Malik was in. I thought that was big, uh, just kind of, you know, setting the tone there. And, you know, I thought just, again, they were very solid attacking, not perfect. You know, we had some plays in there that we always like to have over defensively, but, but, but overall played extremely hard once again. Mark, you're very likely to go to a bowl game. So how do you prepare for the unknown in terms of who the opponent might be? Uh, yeah, right now our guys need a little time. You know, they, they put uh, this week in here, this week, normally I would be on the road recruiting tomorrow. Um, and they put this uh, few days of, of a dead period in there to kind of, uh, the idea being is kind of regroup with your team and see where it's at with this portal and everything with both the change and the transition and your own team. So uh, we got to have some meetings with our players. The players need some time to heal up. So again, I don't mean to be disrespectful. That's the last thing I'm worried about right now is who we're playing. And, you know, all that. I'm really grateful for this victory. Um, I really feel like our team emptied the tank once again, and that's all you can ask. And right now they need a little time to fuel that back up a little bit. Chris's days are numbered in the backfield. Might have only one more game for you. What'd you see from Jatan? Um, He's got today? a few, three or four more does he have? He is unbelievable. He's playing really good, Chris. Uh, Jatan really played a good game too. You know, he really did. He, uh, he had really good vision, had some tough runs. A uh, little different change of pace with him in there, but really, really played well. This group of seniors had obviously some high impact transfers on top of the homegrown guys. How should the fans remember the senior class and how much have been meant to them? Well, that's, you know, it's up to them and up to you, uh, you know, how you write it. Uh, I know in there that uh, there's a lot of love and respect for each other. And, um, you know, there's, you know, I told the team that uh, last night and several times this week. There's guys that have been in that locker room one year, two years, three years, four years, five, and even six. I mean, it's very strange. You know, there's guys that have been around forever and there's newcomers, but that's a team. You know, it's the, it's the way of the new world. There's going to be change, uh, more change than we're used to uh, with, with, uh, with rosters and things of that nature. We have to adapt and uh, make sure we piece it together the best we can. But, uh, you know, just the way they play today, you could tell, you know, the way they care about each other. They wanted to finish strong. And, and I greatly appreciate that, and I know they will as well. You know, uh, you know whether they're, you know, planning on hitting portal or you know graduating or whatever they're deciding uh, to do. I know they'll be proud of the effort that they put in this week to prepare for that game and to go out and win. How much Mark DeAndre is? joined the three thousand tackle club pretty recently. Can you talk about him from the time he got here till now? It's yeah, been ten years. Yeah, he just, you know, just he's just one of those guys. He loves football, loves the game, uh, easy to coach. Uh, because he cares, um, and, <clears throat> you know, so uh, he's come a long way and uh, he's meant an awful lot to this program and, and myself and our staff and uh, he's just been a mainstay. Yeah. <clears throat> How much of today do you think was built off of finishing last week in a competitive nature and, and how yeah. you competed through the, the end of the I, I think it's, you know, again, you know, we, yeah, I think it means something, you know, to go, you know, the product that we put on the field and how we play, it matters. And uh, the preparation matters and matters to our fan base and to, to, our, to our own team, you know, how we play and what, uh, you know, how, what we put into it throughout the week, how, how competitive we are, how tough we play. 
and uh, you know if you're you're in the arena and, and you're playing you're gonna have some ups and you're gonna have some downs and you got to be able to respond and uh, you know I felt like uh, that's what I'm proud of, of of this team maybe things didn't go exactly how we all wanted it to and uh, certainly there's a lot of things that uh, I could do better and we'll do better and you know we'll work at but uh, they, they hung really tough and uh, finished with a with a win that we all all know we we needed that and we you know, we desperately wanted. Mark, what, what were the, <clears throat> sorry. What were the emotions like having Chris here today for ten years? Yeah, I mean it, it it's, means a lot. He was in the locker room and and uh, you know and the players all love seeing him and admire the way he's handling things and how resilient and tough uh, Chris has been because you can imagine, uh, well, it's hard to imagine uh, what he's gone through in the good days and the bad days and, you know, and us visiting with his mother and his family and uh, just the struggle uh, that they're going through. And they greatly appreciate the support of a big blue nation and uh, all the friends and family of this program. And it means a lot to us. And they felt that love and support for a long time. And our players really love seeing them and, and know uh, that's true adversity. You know, sometimes in a long season, you know, they, you know, you have a tendency to feel, be, you know, down or, you know, disgruntled or, you know, face. That's that's real adversity, and uh, he's he's facing it head on. I'm sure there's ups and there's downs. I know there is, uh, but uh, but we all can learn a little bit from that. Mark, I was just going to ask. I know you'll know you'll know more after watching the film. But were you happy watching the field? How you felt like the offensive line? I, I, I thought they, yeah, in general, uh, played really well. Um, effective yards. It wasn't like there was, a, um, you know, but uh, any time you could I'm looking at it right here, um, you know, 42 yards, maybe not overwhelm you, allow you with yards per carry. But if you're rushing it that many times, it means you're getting some effective yards and you're, you're you know, keeping those chains moving. You know, playing for field position, things of that nature. Playing to win the game, however you have to. Mark, and uh, so it was good to see. Mark, you talk about those effective yards, what you all did late against Georgia with the 99-yard drive. How does that change your evaluation of the offense over the whole season, or, or does it at all? Well, I mean, I, I think you know we got better. I think we had to. We, you know, we, we all work at that every day. You know, and uh, and so I want to enjoy this and let everybody enjoy this win. And you know. I know there's work to be done, and we, we all know that. And, uh, so, um, you know, I appreciate uh, the effort and the plan to put ourselves in a position to be successful. And, you know, a lot of times that's, you know, what's, you know, obviously different. That's frustrating to coach. You know, you've heard me talk about it. You know, through the ups and the downs, it's like it's our job to put them in a position to be successful. And, and uh, you know, we've done that at times, and at times we haven't. And, you know, you put it all together and you get a group of men that play that hard and you put them in a position like that, you like to see that result right there. Mark Childress has really flashed some late in the season. He made the, the big break up that turned into an interception at the end. What, what about his progress and what he's back in? You know, he's just a guy that has good instincts. You know, he plays a lot. He's played a lot of snaps before he got here. And he's played a lot of snaps this year. And he's a guy that uh, I agree with you. You see him, you see the flashes, you see him, you see him trigger. You saw a great open field tackle a week ago. You saw him flashing today. And so uh, that's really good to see and a guy that has another year. Mark, what are your emotions like now that the regular season's over? You even kind of alluded to it. You know, it's not exactly what you guys had hoped for, but you get a big win over your rival and it's exhausted, happy, you know. Yeah, I mean, of course, I'm, I'm happy. I'm proud of that, that group. I'm proud of the, the men and the way they, they hung in there and finished. And, uh, you know, I think, um, you know, there'll be time for reflection and uh, looking at everything. And, you know, there, there's always what ifs, you know. It's not like I'm gonna live in the what if world all the time, you know, but I have to really look at things and make sure we're, we're growing and, and moving the program to where we all want to be. You know, um, you know, there, there's part of you that could sit there and look at, you know, your, you know, two penalties away. But that, that's my job to make sure we don't have those two penalties, or, or play better to where a penalty doesn't change the outcome of the game. You know, and we, uh, you know, that what if sticks in the fans, you know, 
minds in my mind as well. You know, you know, you, you very easily could control. You know, winning a few more, and that hurts. You know, because it's the we all know how uh, competitive this league is. Take a look at it, and I don't know. It's just it's been wild. You know, but you look at the SEC and you look at the way everybody finishes. There's a lot of people log jammed. You know, in the middle. You know, on but uh, there's some elite teams that have played extremely well this year. And, there's a lot of guys fighting hard and competing. And so, um, you know, that's hard. I'm long-winded on that conversation. Right now, uh, I guess it, I guess it's called relief, you know, to, to get that, that victory right there. Uh, but it's going to be short-lived. i got to get in uh, to work tomorrow and, uh, and you know, and, and, you know, really take a good look at things and, and see where we're at and you know, go from there. Anyone else? Mark, you've talked about, oh, we asked you Monday, how did you expect the juice to be there after a few, you know, losses coming into this rivalry game? Was it there all week? Did you see more today going into the game of all week? Like, how was that this week? Uh, I, I was really proud of the, the, the team. I don't, I don't know um, if it's the formula. I don't know what it is. Or, but, like, they, they seem to respond. You know what I mean? The, the, it's kind of nice the way our schedule's set up. I don't know if Dr. Capilito is out there or whatever. But they have, you know, school off. You know, Wednesday, obviously Thursday is Thanksgiving, but, you know, with Wednesday off, there's a little time, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't know. They got they a little rest. We had beautiful weather. They, they were, you know, very energetic, and, uh, and they were committed. You know, they were committed to preparing and having a really solid week to go play well. Um, you know, I mean, that, that's what we've done for a long time. I would be very frustrated if they didn't respond that way. Okay, folks, thank you very much. We've got the players coaches over. Yep.